Well hi guys, this is Rick and this is uh, a kind of an exciting video for me because I've just harvested this little lot from the garden here. Now look, look at this, look, we've actually got our very first carrot. Now these are very sweet when they're like this, apparently. So uh, we're going to go and uh, try making something with that. We've got a whole bunch of, let me hold the camera up here. We've got a whole bunch of um, broad beans that we're going to be using. Um, got a couple of lettuces there and uh, lots of chives and some tomatoes. So I'm going to uh, take them into the kitchen out and I'm hoping to do a broad bean and carrot risotto. I haven't really got a clue what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm working from a recipe, but the whole point of this is I want to create something from the food that I've grown in the garden. I will be using a few other small ingredients like oil and um, I think I may need to use a stock cube and obviously rice, you need rice in a risotto. Um, but uh, yeah, well let's, let's see how I get on. This is actually a first for me. I've never actually really worked with broad beans before. So it's all a bit of a learning experience for me. And uh, I've done a lot of research, spent uh, quite a lot of time on the internet uh, going through various recipes this morning. And it does appear that uh, the main accompaniment to broad beans is uh, quite consistently um, garlic. So I hope to be uh, cooking some garlic along with it. And uh, hopefully that's gonna bring out the best in the broad beans. So that's the last uh, broad bean pod done now. So I have this nice little pile of beans here and all of these outer casings, they will go on or they will go back into the compost pile where hopefully they'll go on to produce some nice compost ready for next year. So next up are the carrots and uh, these are grown very, very straight. That's the beauty of the square foot garden. Uh, there, there are no stones in there, it's just compost soil-based compost and vermiculite. So we've got a nice straight carrot. What happens is if, if the carrot, as it grows, hits a stone, it'll go off in another direction and you end up with uh, wonky carrots. But uh, I'm very, very pleased with that. Now I've got some fresh parsley uh, from the garden and uh, what I'm gonna, I'll, I'll use a little bit of it. I'll put a, a little bit aside for garnish and the rest I'm going to chop up and actually cook in with the risotto. Okay, a couple of cloves of garlic uh, is what we need as well. So, um, if you don't know how to get that papery skin off garlic, my sister showed me how to do it. She got trained as a chef. She said you top and tail, but you don't completely cut away the bottom. So, what you do is you put your knife on there and just lift away, uh, and it lifts away the bottom half, and then you just go in and peel off the rest of that papery skin. It's kind of quite cool. Now the idea behind this risotto is uh, yeah, obviously the vegetables, a bit of the parsley and the garlic is going to be in the main risotto, but it's also going to be accompanied with salad. So I'm going to leave the lettuce and the tomatoes and the spinach, I'll leave them in the basket right now and they, I'll just add those later on as uh, salad, fridges, fresh salad. Right then, last but not least, I need onions. stronger than you think they are. And oh. um, we just need to give those about five minutes. Next, you take a pan, add some butter and some olive oil. Then add the onions, stir them up. Just leave them on a very low heat. Now I'm going to add the garlic to the saucepan. Okay, to the onions, what I'm going to do now is add a cup of rice. This is uh, just dry rice and I'm going to mix it around so that the oil gets on all of the coats, oh, sorry, all of the, uh, the grains of rice. I'm also going to throw in the parsley and just as a treat, I'm going to add in a little bit of wine. Now you're supposed to use white wine. I haven't got any white wine at the moment, so uh, I'm going to use a little bit of red. Once the broad beans are ready, I'm just going to turn the gas out and just let them sit there for a while. I'm not actually going to add those to the main risotto mix until it's almost ready for serving. I am going to add some lemon juice 
to the broad beans. Okay, with the, uh, the rice all mixed in there, I'm gonna add a couple of cupfuls of water. Uh, I'm just gonna use water that's been boiled earlier from the kettle. So it's twice as much water as there was rice. Give that a good mix, turn the gas up a little bit. I'm gonna add a stock cube as well. Well, once it's come to the boil, I'll let it simmer for about 10 minutes and then I'll come back and check on it. In the meanwhile, time to rinse off the salad leaves. These are great little devices. They're lettuce dryers. Put the lid on. Give it a chat. There you go, nice dry lettuce leaves. Now to make the salad dressing, all I'm doing is adding a little bit of cider vinegar with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Lots and lots of pepper. This is freshly ground pepper using a little fatty meal and a bit of salt. Give it a shake. There's your salad dressing. Okay, let's check on the, uh, the rice. Well, it's been about 10 minutes and uh, the rice still hasn't cooked yet. Let me just taste that. Now the rice is still quite hard, so I'm gonna give that another, another eight to 10 minutes. You'll never have too many greens. Okay, the rice is almost close to ready now, so what I'm gonna do is add the broad beans and the carrots. I'll mix those in. May have to add a tiny bit more water in. Right, it's been another, uh, another 10 minutes, but I think we're just about ready. So, let's serve this up and give it a go. test is going to be in the taste. Let's give it a go. Oh, oh. Not bad. Not bad. I think next time I do that, I might put a little bit of chilli powder in it. Or maybe a bit of chilli sauce. But that's not too bad at all. I'm quite impressed with that. Marvellous. So there we go, that's my first taste of raw beans. I think the only time I ever had broad beans in the past was at school years ago. So that's my very first attempt at um, tackling raw beans and I have to admit I'm quite impressed. So anyway, like I say, this is all a bit of a learning experience for me. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of um, seeing what ingredients my garden's giving me and then trying to go away and do something with them. And uh, so today, obviously, we had the broad beans and carrots were the main um, the main feature of the meal. Uh, if you've got any ideas, or if you you see me doing something blatantly wrong, and you, you've got a much better way of doing it, then by all means, please leave a note in the uh, the notes area below the video. So anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.